guys, how you doing? It's Charlie. Welcome to a quick five minute tips video. The idea of these videos is they're quick, hopefully, and they get you learning something in five minutes. We're not going to delve into too much detail with regard to the scale or kind of the, the inner workings. It's just something that you're going to hear. I'm going to show you how to do it and hopefully you can take something away from it. If you're a complete beginner, I'd probably say this maybe isn't the lesson for you. Um, we're dealing with kind of major and minor pentatonics. We've got uh, some string bending um, and some things like that, so do bear that in mind. Feel free, obviously, to have a watch. These videos are for everyone. You might be able to take something away, but generally we're kind of intermediate level, sort of blues player, um, sort of pushing on a little bit maybe from intermediate to get these uh, these string uh, some of the string bends going. All right, so we'll crack on. Middle finger is going to slide in um, third string uh, with you on the sixth fret. First finger, fifth fret, second string. Third finger, seventh fret, second string. So we go. Now from here, this is the difficult bit. Okay, we're going to bend the third finger up. Okay, so third finger is going to bend up, come down again, and pull off to fifth fret on the second string. Okay, then we're going to re fret second string um, on the seventh fret. Like that. Okay, so that's it. Okay. Then middle finger is going to jump at sixth fret on the third string. First fingers, uh, fifth fret, top string, and then resolve the phrase to seventh fret, second string, okay? You can put a little bit of vibrato on that top note there, adds to the blues effect. Obviously we've got a bit of a swing feel here as well. Again, I'm not gonna go into too much depth about that, I just wanna keep these videos short. But you've got that kind of underlying swung eighth note pulse, or quaver pulse, whichever you want to call it. That's phrase one. Phrase two starts exactly the same. Okay. Middle finger slides in uh, sixth fret, third string. First finger, fifth fret, second string. Middle finger, sixth fret again on the third string. It's like an A major triad that. And your third finger's on the uh, fourth. Uh, yeah, seventh fret, fourth string. Then the last bit, just to round the phrase off. The first finger jumps from fifth string, uh, fourth fret, fifth string, fifth fret, to fifth string, fourth fret. Really tongue tied today. So now, last little thing you can do if you double these up, you can actually those last two notes. You can put instead of just going five four on the fourth string, you can double up and have. Fourth string, uh, fifth fret, and sixth string, third. Sorry, sixth fret, third string, and drop that semitone. Okay, so I'm just literally moving. That. Okay, so instead you go. That's going to work particularly well if you are moving to a D7 or D9 chord because of that. You've got the third, the flat seventh there. So you get. Okay, so that's the whole phrase. Give it a little go, slow it down. Um, I realize I'm sort of rushing through it, but I think it's cool, just a little thing to get you going. Try changing keys, try experimenting with the timing. Just try and make it your own. I think that's a key thing with these phrases. So I better go, I think we're just about under five minutes. So I'll see you next time, cheers.